I need to clarify something real quick on this next one. Uh, we were talking about, and this was your story, we were talking about autopilot, and then we mixed in some clips of a Tesla hitting a mannequin, and then people were like, man, that is part of a smear campaign, and people were uh, criticizing <clears throat> the individual that posted that stuff, and then saying that actually there was a foot on the pedal, and autopilot wasn't engaged during that video. Uh, you, you've obviously also realized this after that point. Mm. Um and Tesla's pissed about it, and as you would be, and there's, they're demanding a removal of that video. And the second video, which we commented on in that same clip, was an effort to debunk the original video, which you knew was going to go viral to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you show a Tesla hitting a mannequin, it's going to have a reaction response. Now, check if it's still up at the moment. I am not sure. At this point, oh no, it looks like it's still up. Tesla crashes into child dummy as auto brake test fails. Let's see. The move comes amid heightened sensitivity to criticism of the software under public and regulatory scrutiny. So Washington Post says Tesla demands removal of the video of cars hitting child-sized mannequin. A cease and desist letter obtained by the Post. Tesla objects to a video, a video by anti-full self-driving group, the Dawn Project, that appears to show the electric vehicle's running over mannequins at speeds over 20 miles per hour while allegedly using the technology the commercial urges banning the Tesla full self-driving beta software, which enables cars on city and residential streets to automatically lane change. Yeah, we know about that. So who is this Dawn Project? Is that, can we look that up? Oh, there it is. The Real Dawn Project by Dan O'Dowd, or at least he's the one uh, posting here on Twitter. Our new safety test, Tesla's discovered that they will indiscriminately mow down children. Oh, Jesus. It's a very aggressive. Poor choice of words here. Very aggressive. Oh, I think he wants the words to be sure, like that. Yeah. So there's obviously beef going on and there's lawyers involved and there's cease and desist in, involved. So we have to be very careful here, even the way we talk about it. But obviously there's a disagreement here. Mm -hmm. And speculation from Tesla that this was not carried out correctly and that they disagree with the findings here. A surge of news articles talking about the software and self-driving and so on, including ourselves having talked about it in the past. Uh, Tesla supporters have said that the test has been manipulated. Some of them sought to recreate the demonstrations involving real children in an effort to show Tesla software does work, but then you do the test with real children, and then YouTube says, hey, don't do that. Yeah. Because we're not we'll trying to... your video. Well, we're not trying to have, even if you're trying to prove something, we're not trying to have videos on here of you testing. Like, this is a fairly dangerous test to run, and yeah. you're not going to want to do it with real children. Even though the test I watched, they were being super slow about it, and it seemed... Okay, you can understand YouTube's point of view. So this has gotten increasingly complex over here. Um, however, I did think that the clip looked a little bit odd when I saw it the first time as it plowed through. But of course, in the age of uh, social media and the speed of social media, you can have tons of views and people can come to their conclusions and we maybe don't get to this point of the follow-up. So hopefully everybody sees this follow-up. And uh, or at least uh, looks into it a little bit, but I, I really don't know what exactly you can do. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess you send a cease and desist. I guess that's exactly how it works. But they kind of glorify it a little bit. It's a bit odd. No, this is a legit like commercial that they really yeah like. No, I know. And this is the one. This is the one that they want down. This yes. is the demand to take it down. It's still up at the moment. Yeah. Um. Dislikes disabled by owner. Comments disabled by owner. Comments disabled as well. So obviously, uh, you start peeling the onion and so forth. And uh, well, yeah. Take it for what it is. This, this, take it for what it is. Go watch the different clips and, and, and obviously read the article and come to your own determination. Or just leave a comment below, as I'm sure you're going to do um, your criticism of what's going on here, but mm. we know Tesla's point of view on this. They they do not agree with the video clip and they uh, obviously believe it should be taken down. Mm. Yeah. Full self-driving beta still in development. Upgrade. Yeah. I got to check my car and see, by the way, if I if I got that beta. And maybe, or maybe uh, Elon. And you know something else? I, 
Sometimes I think because we cover you, you cover these stories as they come up, and I don't know the way that it comes off as far as uh, sentiment. No, just like myself, I can't even recollect all the kind of like positive, positives, negatives. Everything has two sides to it, right? Nothing is just no. Well, nothing is perfect. Well, well, you know what we got to do though. What's that? We got to test it. We do the test, and then we can't post it. And all of a sudden, we got mannequins, and anyway. We're, Maybe for ourselves. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen. It. But no, the point I'm trying to say, or the thing I want to mention here, is that this is incredible technology. And if there's been a moment where I'm like, no, nah, you know, not exactly ready, it's not it, it meant to, to be uh, an overall downer. It's just the way it works with new technology. The more innovative it is, the more amazing it is, the, the well, usually the more scrutiny that it's under. Is this kind of seems to be the way that it goes, but this is incredibly complex stuff. The people working on it deserve a tremendous amount of uh, respect. It's it's complicated work, and it's very cool and innovative work. And if even if something is not ready at the moment, doesn't mean it's not worthwhile. It doesn't mean it's not a worthwhile investigation. Mm -hmm. It's just it's like a lot of things in technology. It's a matter of time and. Maybe there's a discrepancy in uh, people's perception of how much time or how close and things like this are up for discussion. But the fact of the matter is, even as it is today, it is impressive. Yes. Okay. So I just wanted to put that out there. Okay. And I own a, and I own a Model S. So, yeah. so that should, I mean, I own a Model S and I own other, I own a non-Model S okay, and a Model yeah. S. Yeah. <sighs> Stop whining. <laughs> <laughs>